it was really special for us to win the 100th national championship, but at the same time, I think we all understood that we'd never have gotten that 100th national championship if it weren't for all the other teams that had come before us. And I just remember one of my teammates, Courtney Mathewson, saying after the game, it's great that we won the 100th national championship, but there's gonna be 100 more after us. And it was loud, and it was fun, and it was... We had to fight for every win, every point, um, and we were really close as a team. So I think when we got there and actually won it, we knew that we won it because we had dedicated ourselves the, to uh, The national champions and, and men's soccer, you know, it was a tremendous feeling. I, mean, I was overwhelmed with so many emotions, and all my teammates, like, blooded on to me. Myself, and it, well, here it is. Just go as hard as you can at the goal, and maybe something good will happen. That is probably my most memorable moment. Heading into the national championship tournament when we got the two seed, um, I wouldn't say we were surprised, uh, but we just knew we had a challenge ahead of us um, because we did have to face SC in the semifinal game. So it was pretty, pretty daunting to know that we had to beat SC and then probably see Stanford in the final game. I remember Going into the tournament, our coach, Adam Krikorian, sat us down. And we were in a really close circle, and he told us that no one outside of the circle mattered. The only people that mattered were us, the people around us, and we didn't need to worry about anything outside of the circle. And I just remember that going into that final game, and looking around and seeing my teammates and knowing that nothing else mattered because we had each other. Every game with SC is always a battle. Um, they have a great coach, they always have very talented players, so we knew it was going to be a hard-fought game. We were down 4-2, I think, at half, and we fought back. We ended up winning the game in the last 20 seconds, 7-6 uh, was the final scores. And then going into the final game, we were up 4-1 on Stanford, going into the fourth quarter. And then Stanford started to make a push, they started to come back, they got it 2-4-3 with about five minutes left in the game. Um, there's always a lot of pressure uh, winning a national championship, being a defending national champion. But I just remember we had a weight coach, his name was Doc, and he always told us, you're not defending anything. You're not defending a national championship, you're attacking it. So that's kind of the mindset we had going into it. We were always attacking. We, were trying to, we weren't trying to sit back and defend a title. We were always trying to attack it and trying to win another one. up winning 5-4 so that game was a nail-biter too. I think for me personally winning that championship the most special moment was how close we were as a team. Um, out of my five years as a player here at UCLA that was probably the most special team because we were such a tight-knit group. Like I said we only had one freshman so majority of us had played at least two years together um, and a lot of us had grown up playing together when we were younger, before we even got to college. So it kind of felt like we were a family more than a team. That, I think, was the most special moment for me at the end of the day when we won the championship. I was with my family, um, who were my teammates. That's probably my most memorable moment. <laughs>